See this? The horns down. We're back for the hat. We've been waiting a year to come back to this stadium. Got a bad taste in our mouths. We're playing well. BB's got this defense playing with their hair on fire. Give me that gun! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Jonathan Brooks. Had a great first five games. A tailback as he get the ball immediately to Xavier Worthy. Two years ago, he... Ewers has the football, gets it out, almost threw it. He did throw a pick. Right to Gentry Williams, who jumped the route. A huge mistake for Ewers, and OU will take over in the red zone. Uh, Ewers gets confused here, Chris. He had two slants. Oklahoma does a good job, and what an unbelievable job by Gentry Williams jumping this route. Watch the hesitation by Ewers. He's unsure, he's unsure, he throws it anyway, and a heck of a job by Williams undercutting that, getting in front of Mitchell, anticipating that slant. Great job by OU's defense on these first two plays, and now what field position to start the game fast today against Texas. Gabriel, who can run it, takes off, has some space. Actually, it's a it's a Farouk. Catch Texas off guard with the tempo. And in third and one, they hammer forward and get a first and goal. That ball gets out quick. Gabriel takes off, darts up the middle, and scores! Sooners draw first blood quickly, cashing in the pick. Did a really good job of selling this and then follows his right guard, Metallier. Watch him wait patiently, allow those blocks to establish themselves on that left side. Whittington playing in his fourth edition of the Red River rivalry makes a big play. Now, Ewers, he's been harassed a lot early. Fast. Sooner's defense not lined up, but they close down Brooks. And here's a reverse, another wrinkle on the end around is Keelan Robinson. Robinson and Brooks flanking yours. And a throw. Sanders tipped up in the air and intercepted. The second takeaway. Kendall Dolby comes up with the pick. Billy Bowman batted it up in the air. He batted it up in the air and he went right through Sanders' chest in the process. He's the veteran back there, just a grinder. How fitting for him in this rivalry game that he makes this play. Just sitting back here waiting for the potential threat right there. I think viewers at home watching it live wondered if it might be a defenseless player getting hit up high. Ball is loose, but he hits him clean below the, the neck area. So it's a clean hit, well-timed. Ball goes up into the air. Dolby's there to pick it off. Trying to make plays with Dylan Gabriel and these receivers. It's fruit in motion. A long throw to Stoops. Got a block on the edge. And he's... Think Texas would win that, but they have not been able to yet. No, Brooks, not much room. Play fake, far pitch, and slipping a tackle. Texas, the brink of squandering a great opportunity with field position. Ewers has a lot of space, but a long way to go, and just has to flip it away. It's the back, Tawi Walker in motion. Gabriel took a quick peek and then just runs it up the middle. With fewer numbers in that box that still get away with it. He picked up five on the first down. Now Walker, who's 5'9", but is built like a tank. Look at the power there. Poor little guys are still kind of gelling. Here's pressure off the left. Hammered straight ahead by Walker. Off the play fake. Gabriel backpedals and launches downfield for Jaleel Farouk, who makes a catch at the Texas 21. He beat Jalen Catalan, the safety, our first downfield play today. Well, this is a matchup they want. Catalan is known more as a thumper, and they're able to get downfield, create that one, one on match, one on one. Down. They don't bring it. Gabriel from the pocket, a long throw to the far sidelines in a diving attempt. Anthony, does he have it in bounds? Yes, he does. You see the accuracy and the arm strength of Gabriel. And it's a long throw for any quarterback. What an accurate throw. These safeties will make the quarterback pay for a bad decision. Chip shot here for Zach Schmidt. 
And that is a straightforward. So Texas had the fall start. Then they spend a timeout. So still first and 15. Yours changes direction. Trying to escape for his life. And he's brought down. Ethan Downs got there first. It's a play they love to use, but it takes a long time to develop. Watch La Laulu take this away. Eight does a good job of anticipating. They ran this exact same play a week ago against Kansas. Those are the tools at his disposal. That was a lot to bounce back from early. This is Marcus Major. From Texas gave him numbers back to the right to run. Long runs really weren't lined up to defend the pass on the far side, but they hand it off to Major. Texas trying to avoid that against this tempo. Off the play fake, Gabriel flips it short. Major makes one man misses. Knocked down. Gabriel has time and delivers a pass caught far side. It's a first down to Farouk. I don't know if it's because he's lefty and he's not the tallest. I mean, I know people compare Tua's kind of his, his system and the way he, his mechanics. That ball gets out so quick. Give credit to that offensive line, giving him time. 14-yard gain in the third down. Gabriel has a lot of time here. And now we'll take off. Makes a cut, weaves his way down, starts to slide. Oklahoma trying to reclaim the lead, set up inside the Texas 15. And the end around, it's Gavin Freeman. And he's the punt returner. He's got good quickness. Walker this time. And he just waltzes in, standing up. Oklahoma answers the answer by Texas and reclaims the lead. Caden Green is being in this game right now. He's on the, the left side there. Watch the job that he does. 70. He's a true freshman. Nice job of the double team there in the middle. The center ring. And swarming into the backfield to make the play for Oklahoma is Bothroyd. He lose four. He was the guy who was flagged a second ago. Yeah, but I think he saw that coming. It's a good job by Brent Venables schooling him up and getting him ready to, to anticipate anytime he sees motion coming to him. Be ready for that threat. Just in case they hand him that football. Brooks motions out five receivers. Ewers has some space, pump fakes, and he's not going to fool anybody. You're regrouping a bit. No timeouts, minute 53. They pitch it to Andrew Anthony, who ducks under. And they're going to run the ball. And Major will be real patient. Checks the sideline. Here comes the pressure. They pick it up. Long throw, caught. And spinning free is Farouk. They chase him down, but a big play made one man miss. This guy is so good after the catch. He sure is. And, and again, this is the improvement. Look how far he is near the side. Gabriel took a look left. Now dumps it down over the middle. And this is Walker with the catch. Breaks free again. You can't get this dude down. Walker motions out. Gabriel takes off. Has a little crease. Makes a man miss. Still fights down inside the 10. Right through. Very capable of making plays. Farouk's in the backfield. He's got it. Speedy around the edge. And it's a first down. Some kids telling him to dream big. And he did. Flips short of the middle. Stogner reaches out a big hand. Makes the catch. And he's wrestled down. Walker makes his way again. Hard to bring him down. This was their defensive line being difference makers. On third and two, they flip it to Stoops, who reaches back, makes the catch. Stoops getting up talking. Gabriel, long throw near side. Anthony spins free of one tackler, wrestled down at the 25. Off the fake, Gabriel across the middle. And then Stogner, the tight end. Makes you have to respect things out wide, and then they gut you in, into the middle. Keeper. Gabriel follows a block and now skips out of bounds at the eight-yard line. It's a lot to deal with. Two backs in the backfield. And it off to Walker, who plows ahead. It's Walker. Touchdown, Oklahoma. They stretch the lead with their first possession of the second half. Take it 75 yards in 13 plays. 
What a rouse in the left side of this offensive line. They're just looking to push and create this hole. Good job here. Throw Stogner in there as well. Offensive line doing their job. And again, the tough running by Walk. Ewers trying to get things going here. And they're down by 10 for the first time this season. He tests the middle. And that's Danny Stutzman who just swarmed in there. Because Stutzman, not 100% today, Kirk, but fighting through it. I love to watch this guy play football. I mean, he is a throwback. And in a weekend where Dick Butkus has passed away, and we're all thinking about him and his family. Sanders throws a block there, but not enough to protect the quarterback for long. Ethan Downs has been big off the edge. We wondered, is there an elite pass rusher in this game? There really wasn't coming in, but Downs has made a big impact today. He sure did. And that's a, a tough block there for Sanders, who's coming over from the right over to the left. And I'll tell you what's impressive there is Downs worked through first, the tight end. They bring the pressure. Ewers steps up, thinks about running. He'll take off. No way he's going to get there. Lost the ball. It comes loose, still rolling around. And Oklahoma has it. Gentry Williams had an early pick. Now he's got a fumble recovery right at midfield. Peyton Bowen, the true freshman, causes that with a major hit. This guy's a true freshman. It's what you fear when a quarterback takes off. Keeping the ball in tight, he did. But the freshman, who they say is a superstar in the making, comes up, unloads into Ewers, and knocks that ball loose. He made an impact first as a special teamer. Bowen has blocked two punts this season. He just got the ball out quickly. Backs are in to give Brooks a breather, and the young fellow is going to be sworn behind the line. Dijon Terry, who had been out of the game, is back in, making the play. He is the Tennessee transfer, fifth-year guy. Usually known as a guy that just eats blocks, but with him reaching, see that offense line? Two plays to pick this up. Hand it off inside, and 10-yard line, that set that up. Sooners. Back to work, Farouk finds the edge, look out, he can fly, knocked out across the 40. Third and 10. Gabriel feels the pressure, sidesteps it, escapes, and tries to get there with his legs, gets a block on the edge, but will not get there. Fought really hard, but Derek Williams, the true freshman in for Catalan, made the tackle on the far side. Collins right here wins, forces him out of the pocket. And then you're talking about a true freshman out in space getting off of a potential block by Drake Stoops. To enhance the beat oh up boy. lining up in the backfield. And they hand it off to Brooks behind all that. They couldn't create enough space. He stopped for nothing. Boy, good job of working around that. Get it, see all that size, no problem. He's going to get downhill and work around that. <laughs> That's a great job by Kip Lewis. The redshirt freshman. Redshirt freshman. In the fullback position, it's Murphy in front of Brooks. Takes the pitch. And they're trying to push the pile. They won't get there. Hassan McCullough on the stop, and the Sooners really making him earn this final yard. Hey, McCullough takes the fight to Murphy. He's not the biggest guy, but watch this hit. There's sweat right there, but watch this collision right here. Instead of sitting back waiting, bang, he hits him. And blew that play up. That's a heck of a job. The IU transfer. So they haven't gained an inch in two plays. Brooks again. And again, they've got him behind the line. Oklahoma rises up with Danny Stutzman combining with Desan McCullough. It's fourth down and goal. Well, as big as you are, if you don't block this guy, you're not going to score running up the middle. Nobody picks up. Stutzman, who's who's the, the ball hawk, the guy that makes all the tackles on this team. Smart, tough, instinctive. And you may have all that size, but you come very predictable when you go three straight trying to run behind the big boys. That didn't work at all. Three plays, they lose a yard. Another fourth down play for the Longhorns. Got to hurry here. Play clock at four. They're going to throw for it. Worthy! Stop short! Four plays from the one. They can't get in. An Oklahoma goal line stand that just became part of the lore of this rivalry. Billy Bowman got there. Wow, what a moment.
Are you kidding me? What a stand. Unbelievable. OU protecting a seven point lead. Back to work from the one. Hand off to the end zone. Breaking free is Walker. He's got a lot of breathing room, a first down. Not showing pressure, and they only rush four. And Gabriel flush out, pump fakes, takes off, and takes a big shot. Gabriel again takes a quick peek and then takes off. Weaves his way through traffic. He's in the loose. Dylan Gabriel finally chased down at the Texas 30. Keaton Crawford saved the touchdown, but that's the run of his life. Again, watch the middle linebacker. He's right there, Jalen Ford. You're talking about, again, not just one of the best players on Texas. They go as fast as anybody in the country. So the first thing they need, first thing they need is that first first down to get their tempo going. How aggressive will Texas play it? They only rush three, drop into coverage. Gabriel across the middle, and it's complete for a first down. He found Stoops. Put your seatbelt on. That's what they not. That's what they wanted. Now just a matter of getting lined up. Texas got to be ready to be aggressive, not be conservative. Sitting back. Long throw, catch made. Farouk makes one man miss, and suddenly in a couple of plays, they're in Texas territory. That's two plays, and he gets out of bounds. I mean. That, that's what this offense can do for him. Roop now is having just a huge day. 130 yards on the day receiving. Gabriel, pocket collapsing. He escapes. Flips it across the middle and Stoops running free. And the legend's son moves the football down into the red zone in the final minute. Boy, Jalen Ford came up. Remember, he's been lost when Gabriel's run. That time he came up, and it opened up a throw to Stoops. Gabriel pump fake, launching for the end zone, incomplete. There was a battle on the far sideline, and a flag comes out. Brooks was defending Nick Anderson. And his playmakers have moved the ball down in 28 seconds. Here inside the 10. There's a progressive pylon cam showing to the end of that slant and go, but an obvious pass interference in the right call. It's going to be Tawi Walker show in the backfield. Holly reporting Marcus Major not available out of this game. First down. Going to throw for it. Now he'll take off and knock down at the three. Texas has timeouts. Will they spend it here? I, I think Texas is just going to hope that their defense can hold on here. OU's got to throw incompletions or score. They cannot afford to get tackled inbounds. Gabriel. Blanches touchdown! Nick Anderson! His first catch of the football game. Younger brother of Rodney Anderson, former Oklahoma running back, has put the Sooners on top. With Nick Anderson going in motion. Watch the reaction from Texas right in the back as he responds. He calls it off, says, hey, you got him, you got him. Now watch the Texas reaction here once he goes into motion. He said, you got him, I got him? Who has him? I don't have him. And then he's lost. So a miscommunication on the back end from the Texas secondary with that pre-snap movement created doubt and hesitation by Jaron Thompson. They weren't quite sure who had him matched up man to man. He sneaks into that back of the end zone. And how about the line? Six of them standing on the goal line waiting for the throw. Ewers hoping for time to launch. They come after him, does step forward, hit as he throws, a high ball near the goal line, broke it up. Batted down. Oklahoma wins it.